fair to say that the research program of UNESCO IG is very demand-driven and solution-oriented. We have six research themes which we have defined, uh, redefined recently. The first theme is on uh, water supply and sanitation. It's uh, called uh, Safe Drinking Water and Sanitation. And it's about the knowledge gaps, filling the knowledge gaps related to the access to safe, affordable, clean drinking water for all members of society, including the poor. The second is on water-related hazards and climate change. So it's about floods and droughts and trying to understand the generation and the management of floods and droughts and pollution related to water-related hazards. And we said water-related hazards and climate change, that means we also study in particular the impact of climate change on water-related hazards. Climate change very likely is in many parts of the world changing the frequency and intensity of hazards. But we also see climate change in relation to all the, all the other uh, global, regional, environmental and societal changes that are going on. The third one is on uh, water and ecosystem qualities. It's about the knowledge needed to fully understand water and environmental integrity and how aquatic ecosystems can help to provide uh, benefits and services for the environment and for humans. Then we continue with uh, water management and governance, and it's about understanding the linkage between the, the biophysical processes, the human systems, and also the engineered uh, systems, and how, how are these linkages, how do they work, how do they interact, and if we understand that better, we can also develop better solutions, how to manage and how to govern water resources better in a more equitable and a sustainable way. The fifth theme is on uh, the nexus of water, food, and energy. It's called water, food, and energy security. It's about understanding the linkages between water, food, and energy, and how we, uh, the different systems interact, and uh, how we can manage that in a sustainable uh, way. And the last theme is on information and knowledge systems. It's about the whole information cycle, starting from data acquisition, to modeling, to analyzing, interpreting data, to forecasting and optimization, uh, of, of modeling results, but also to the whole knowledge management related to, to water-related data and information systems, and how we can really improve knowledge management and decisions, decision support uh, related to water and environment. Water cannot be studied independently from, from many other aspects. So I think the most exciting here at UNESCO IG is that we have some, some hundred plus academics. They all work on uh, water issues and they come from all the different disciplines. So it's a very multidisciplinary setup. So we have people coming from engineering, natural science, but also social science, economics, and humanities. And they all study water problems. But it, we don't stay at that multidisciplinary approach. We really try to integrate between the different disciplines. So we try to understand what are the linkages between the different disciplines and how they can be helping to define, uh, to define solutions uh, for water problems. And we we'll even go a step further. And I think that's really something special at UNESCO IGE that we, we go beyond that interdisciplinary approach. We, we want to go towards a transdisciplinary science. With transdisciplinary science, we mean also involving people outside the research box, involving people, stakeholders, involving people who are not classically in the uh, research um, field. And that makes, that links to the demand-driven character of our research uh, very clear. Well, the societal relevance for our research is absolutely critical. The, the way we define our uh, research questions and the way we design our projects and the way we collaborate with partners is very much geared towards with having doing research with impact. So we would like to reach out with our research. We would like to, from the beginning, from the design of the project, try to design it such a way that we can also assure uptake of the knowledge. That means that stakeholders need to be involved in the research from, from day one, from the proposal writing, from uh, defining the, the knowledge gaps and uh, exploring uh, sustainable solutions for that. Therefore, we, we work with quite a range of different stakeholders. We work with, with academic as well as non-academic stakeholders. We work with, with partners uh, from academic institutions, research institutions, national and even more international uh, institu uh, universities, but also with non-academic partners. It could be governance, it could be uh, mi ministries, uh, different types of ministries, of course. And, uh, but also NGOs, uh, donor community is very important to us. These are all different partners in that endeavor helping us to uh, ensure impact of our research.